Hello, we're here at E3 2015, and I'm talking to Arnie Jorgensen, who is the co-owner of Versus Evil. Uh, no, the co-owner of Stoic. Stoic, okay, Versus Evil is the publisher of the game, right. And he's also the art director of Bander Saga 2, which is coming out for, let us know what platforms. It's going to be coming out on Steam for PC and Mac this winter. Okay, and you may have played uh, the original Banner Saga. It was available for iPad, I know, and for Mac also. It's on Android, iPad, Mac, PC, soon-to-be console. Yeah. Okay, and that was originally done through a Kickstarter project, and this one is not through Kickstarter, right? You're funding this one directly. No, it's not. We, we, we funded the first one successfully through Kickstarter, and that kickstarted us. So our company made enough on the first one that we could continue to work on the second one without going back to crowdfunding. And now he's going to show us some of the elements of the game, so let's take a look. So what we've got right here is for uh, new players to the game, we started off with a tutorial. Um, and it's a, it's a battle just basically teaching the player how to get through. You'll see we have destructibles in here. You can set up fences and defenses, and, uh, and you can mash through them. You could uh, maybe knock over an urn that, bl that shoots out coals to change the battlefield. Uh, that's one of the new... That's one of the new things in this game. Uh, this guy's about to do a Sundering Impact, which, uh, as everybody knows, a Varl will hit the enemy and any adjacent enemy to him. This guy moves in and does one damage, which is weak. He's going to rest uh, and gain some willpower as Rook, the hero, is going to strike the killing blow. Like so. And then... Uh, you'll see here that we're, uh, combats are a lot more cinematic. We have things set up with people talking and moving in the game uh, to move the story along. And this one, um, this is following on the heels of, of the Banner Saga 1, where Rook lost his daughter Alette to the dredge, and he's maddened by it. And uh, he's getting a little bit crazy here. So he's getting ahead of his army, just running straight at them, almost berserking. Uh, this battle right here is against seven dredge. And it was initially designed to be unwinnable, but I beat it. So we had to throw in a win condition on this one. So for the really good players, uh, this is the second battle of the game. Almost, I mean, extremely hard to win. But if you know what you're doing, you can do it. And that's one of the interesting elements, too, because it's possible in the first game that she did not die. And that carried over into this. So if when you played the original game, if she lived, then she appears in this, correct? That is correct. In the demo, uh, when you start the demo, you either choose to play with Rook or Alette. Uh, we're going to be offering that option as well uh, for the final game, but if you've won the first game, then you can import your saves over, and all the decisions and, and uh, stuff that you made in the first one will carry through. And that's another interesting element of this game, is that you cannot choose saves that you can go back to. The game saves automatically, and it's possible you're going to make wrong decisions, and people are going to die. In the game, you just have to live with that, and progress and see how the story plays out. That's right. And also in the second one, you'll notice that characters are, uh, their portraits are progressing. So you can see Rook is a lot more haggard and beat up in this one. He's kind of, he's, be he's become a bit maddened after the first one. So uh, you'll notice some characters changing throughout the Banner Saga 2. Uh, this is a new character in class that we're, that we're showing off now. His name is Alio the Scald. Um, he's actually designed after one of our biggest supporters and backers of the Banner Saga, so this is an actual person whose name is Alio. Uh, so he'll talk to you about, uh, you know, at this point, the other people in the world see you as a Sunder Killer who is leading a caravan of, you know, fearless warriors, which any player from the Banner Saga 1 will know is not completely accurate. Uh, but that's what the others see you as now, so how do you deal with that? Uh, we're just cooking through dialogue rather quickly here, but uh, just like the first one, the, the answers and decisions I'm making through this dialogue will impact the game. Uh, this is here, Ivor's trying to uh, tell or ask Rook what is driving him crazy right now, and Rook is saying, it's my daughter, don't ever mention her name. Uh, you'll notice throughout this game we have more cinemas than in the first one, and they're more evenly placed. So the whole game in general uh, will feel more cinematic, and you'll feel it especially in cutscenes and also in combat. Okay, so that's Banner Saga 2. There's a lot more to see with that, and can you let us know again when we expect to see it? You can expect to see it uh, this winter. Uh, that's Northern Hemisphere winter.
and that gives you more than enough time if you haven't yet to download and play the original Banner Saga. Arnie, thank you very much, and uh, good, enjoy the rest of the show.